Hi, Cat's Cradle here. Let's talk citrus a little bit today. I was telling some friends, some YouTube friends, about how I preserve citrus, and they said, oh, you ought to make a video on that. Uh, I've only made one video so far, and it was um, more work than I anticipated, so I imagine uh, my videos will come out fairly slowly. I just don't have a lot of time to do it. But anyway, I'll try to make it uh, short and sweet and to the point. Uh, citrus was on sale yesterday. An eight-pound bag of grapefruit were on for $2.99. Uh, these nice, beautiful oranges were on four for a dollar and lemons three for a dollar, and I love to preserve them. And I'll show you a couple of different ways I've tried. One is I have peeled and sliced and dehydrated them in the past. These particular oranges were a little bit tart, so as I put them on my dehydrating tray, I sprinkled them with just a little bit of sugar. I've had them in nothing more than a Ziploc bag for almost a year, and they have stayed just fine. Uh, they're a delicious treat. Uh, they're just slightly, slightly leathery. You just pop them in your mouth. They're delicious. A great way to get your citrus. Uh, the other way I have tried is to can it. And here you see a pint jar of half grapefruit, half orange, maybe a little more, maybe a little more grapefruit here. Uh, this is delicious. It's packed in a very, very light syrup. It's uh, canned in a boiling water bath for 10 minutes. Very, very easy way to prepare citrus. And if you want to see a video on that, I don't need to do it because I'm still working has already done that. I'll post a link to her video uh, below mine. But this is delicious. We had some the other night, chilled it, sprinkled a little bit of coconut on it. Tastes just like I peeled the citrus. Absolutely delicious. Uh, but let's talk lemons just a minute. I have, I have dehydrated lemons just like this where I've sliced them, put them on, on my dehydrator, and you can put them in a pitcher of cold water to reconstitute them and make a, a nice pitcher of lemonade. But I have a favorite way to, uh, to prepare lemons, and I'll show you how to do that. I take a nice big lemon like this, and I cut the thick end off because really it's mostly pith if you look at it, this white part right here, and I don't really need that. So I cut off both of those ends, and besides that, uh, it takes up too much room in my jar. And what I am going to do is slice it not too thinly. Now this one, it's all pith right there, so I'm not going to use that at all. I wait till I get to the actual lemon itself, and I begin slicing it. I have a knife here that's just slightly serrated. Uh, I mean, very slightly. It's wonderful for this because I can slice through and not crush my lemons. I suppose if you had a, a really sharp fillet knife, that would work as well. So here I've got my lemon slices, and they're about a fourth of an inch, a generous fourth of an inch. Doesn't really matter. That's not important. Um, and I don't try to, I don't worry about the seeds so much. You can, you can go ahead and take them out if you want to. These don't have very many, so I may just go ahead and do that. And then here's what I do with them. Let me get these out right here. It won't take but just a second. All right, I take my quart jar, just like this, and I begin putting a couple of lemons in there. Oh, got a few seeds on there. Let me get that out. If you're going to do it, you might as well just go ahead and do it. There we go. And then what I do is I take pickling salt. And this is, there, there's really not any pickling thing in it particularly. There's no spices or herbs or seasoning like that. It is just salt. The reason they call it preserving a pickling salt is because it doesn't have any iodine in it. And when you put it in your, uh, your home canned product, it, doesn't, it keeps it clear. They don't get cloudy. You may find it like this in a uh, canister, or you may find it like this. I've seen it like this lately in a big old bag. Either one. When this runs short, I just refill it out of this bag. But this is probably how you'll, how you'll find it. And then what I do, just open up my pickling salt. You can use table salt for this. I've done it in the past. I just like how crystal clear this salt leaves it. And I sprinkle my salt on it like that. Then what I do is I put a couple more lemons. These lemons are so nice and big, they almost just perfectly fill the jar. Put a few more in. Put some more salt. Like that. Shake it around just a little bit. Salt, salt is not expensive, so be generous. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and get right back to you in just a second. I'll show you when it's done. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm finished. I have layered my lemons and my salt in my jar. You can see how it looks. There's a little bit of space right there, but I'm not worried about it because what's going to happen is that um, over the next couple of days, that salt, there we go, that salt is going to melt down into those lemons uh, and will be just fine. Now, if you haven't discovered these yet, these are uh, the plastic lids that are made for the canning jars. These are, uh, this happens to be a box for the regular uh, mouth jars, but they also make them for wide mouth as well. So when you don't want to use a metal lid, you can use these plastic lids. Of course, you can't can with them, but whenever you open a jar, like if I were to open this jar of citrus and didn't want to eat all of it, I would just screw this plastic lid back on. They're wonderful, and you can find them where you find your canning supplies. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw this plastic lid on these salted lemons and put them right in my refrigerator and wait several weeks, and then they're going to be ready to use. Absolutely delicious. And let me show you what they look like when they're done. Here's a jar. This is why I'm making more because I'm, I'm almost out of this jar right here. Look how, now these are probably uh, maybe four or five months old, and you can see they have completely retained their color. I'm going to take a couple out for you so you can see what they look like. They're absolutely beautiful, and you can see the, the, the sugar has almost just like made a, made a syrup in this jar. Now, don't be mistaken, it is a salty syrup, um, but it, uh, it has perfectly preserved the lemons. And here's how I use them. I will take these lemons tonight and put them on a chicken that I'm going to roast in the oven. I'll lay a couple of slices under the wing. I'll put a couple in the cavity of the bird, lay some maybe uh, on the breast as I roast that bird, and it will impart a beautiful lemony flavor to that chicken. And here's what happens after they're cooked. Now, they almost look like stained glass now. They're just so beautiful and clear. I hope you can see. I hope it's coming across on the camera how that looks. Just beautiful and clear. And what happens after these bake in the oven is they almost become gel-like. And I actually, you can just smash them with a fork. And I love to have that on my chicken. It's absolutely delicious. If you love the flavor, uh, the aroma of citrus, I really encourage you to try preserving lemons in salt. It's a wonderful thing to do. I'll post the link to I'm Still Working's video on how to, how to can citrus. Try, try them salted. And don't forget to even try them uh, dehydrated, but there's nothing better in the dead of winter to be able to take citrus off of your cupboard shelf that you've preserved yourself. I hope you try it, and uh, I'll see you soon.